Hello there, and welcome to this course, which is called SharePoint for Developers, PowerShell Automation and Provider Hosted Add-ins. I am your host, Oleg Rumantsev, and I will be your guide throughout the videos of this course. The course itself will touch on a several subjects, starting from Patterns and Practices PowerShell module, which contains a number of commandlets to work with the SharePoint Online tenants. Then we will move on to Provider Hosted Add-ins and will cover how to create, debug and run as well as host them on the Microsoft Azure portal. We will also cover several advantages points which provider hosted add-ins might have over the SharePoint hosted add-ins, such as being able to host remote event receivers and also subscribe to SharePoint events using the webhooks. And finally, we'll be discussing the Microsoft Graph API a single endpoint to provide access to a majority of data which is contained in Office 365 suit applications. The course itself is divided into five sections. In the first one, we will start with PowerShell and will cover PowerShell basics as well as introduce you to Patterns and Practices PowerShell module which contains a multitude of commandlets that will simplify our work with SharePoint Online. In the section 2, we will continue using PNP PowerShell and explore how it can be utilized in meaningful ways. Moving on to section 3, we will cover provider hosted add-ins and we will demonstrate how SharePoint hosted add-in can be transformed into provider hosted one. In section 4, we will be covering Azure Web Jobs as well as SharePoint Web Hooks functionality and how we can make those work alongside the provider hosted add-in which is hosted in Azure Portal. And in section 5, we will cover Microsoft Graph API, several authentication methods, and several samples on how to invoke Microsoft Graph API from JavaScript code. 